I'm going to show you how you can quickly migrate your DynamoDB tables into Astra using Astra's data loader and Amazon's S3 buckets. So if you don't have an Astra account already, you'll need to sign up from this link at the bottom. But if you do, go ahead and log in now. Once you've logged into Astra, you will need to create a database. Your Astra database can be in any cloud region, including Google and Azure. It does not need to be AWS. Once you've created your database, you need to click on that database from your dashboard. From there, you can get to your database properties and you can also get to the data loader from this link here called load data. This is the Astra data loader and we're gonna be doing option three, load data from DynamoDB. We're gonna need two values. We're gonna need an S3 bucket name and the key value for an object in that bucket. So now we're gonna create a new bucket in Amazon S3. When creating your new bucket, you need to make sure you uncheck the box for block all public access. After you create your new bucket, you need to go to the permission settings and you need to edit your bucket policy here. Your bucket policy needs to match what you see on the screen here. You can get this information from Astra's data loader and the only information you need to update is where it says your bucket name here and here. Once your policy matches this, you can scroll down and click on save changes. Now that your bucket is ready to go, we're going to head over to DynamoDB and select the table that you want to load to Astra. After you've selected your DynamoDB table, you're going to click on actions and you're going to click on export to S3. Here, we're going to enter your bucket name and then click export. Once DynamoDB lets you know that your table was exported, we're going to head back to your S3 bucket and we're going to find the new object that we want to load into Astra. Once you find the object that you want to load, you just click on it and it'll bring you to the properties menu where you can copy your key value right here. Now that we have all the information that we need, we're going to head back over to Astra's data loader. And now you just need to enter the bucket name and the key value down here and click on next. On the next page of the Astra's data loader, you can preview your data here. First, we need to enter a table name. Second, you need to review and select your data types. And finally, we need to select at least one column to be our partition key. You can add more than one partition key and you can also select clustering columns to order your data how you want to. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click next again. On the third and final page of Astra's data loader, we're gonna select our target database and target key space up here. And then hit next. Here you can see we got a notification saying our data is being imported. Now you will receive an email from Astra once your data has been loaded. Go back into your Astra account and click on your database and then click on CQL console so that we can confirm that the data is now there. Once CQL console has loaded, we're gonna run just a few commands. We're gonna run use your keyspace name and then we're gonna run the describe tables commands. Here you can see your table was successfully added to your keyspace. Now let's run a select query to verify that the data is there. And there it is, our DynamoDB table is now migrated over to Astra.